Simone's multi-purpose jack-of-all-trades cereal bowls are finally done, and spoiler alert, they're exactly what I was hoping for, so let me show you how I did it, and then we can bask in the results. I give our cone 10 brew salt a good mixing and get to dipping. This is what I wanted to do for the plates, but like I said, the bucket was too small, but now you can see how much of a difference dipping is going to make versus pouring. I'm submerging the bowls fully in the glaze and then tilting them to pop the air bubble formed inside the bowl, and then I really loosely belch it when I pull it out of the bucket, which means means I'm kind of pulling glaze up to give another sploosh of glaze inside the bowl. And here's how that looks. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who can tell what a huge difference this makes compared to the plate, but this is absolutely what my vision for the set was. I can finally tell all of the people saying these were too big to eat my shorts, because if this isn't the perfect cereal bowl, I don't know what is. And of course they stack. Just imagine opening your cupboards and seeing this. And not so friendly reminder that we are in cahoots. Simone is not allowed to see this.